Welcome to SPCU. Let's talk about the short travel trail bike, the Camber. This bike has everything you need, nothing you don't, which means it's got just the right amount of travel, the right geometry, all the little bits and pieces that you need, and nothing extra. One of the most fun trail bikes out there. So the frame on the Camber is, is really unique. It's got some, some features that you'd expect and some really new twists on, on making this bike uh, have everything you need and nothing you don't. Things that you would normally expect from a, a specialized bike like a, a tapered head tube, a press fit 30 bottom bracket, 142 millimeter plus, and an FSR system. But let's talk about some of the, the intricate details that kind of make this bike stand out. So on the frame, you have internal cable routing with the new hood scoop design. So if you want to run one, two, three, even four cables internally, you can go ahead and do so. Uh, the bikes will actually come with the churro, which is on the inside of the frame here. It keeps the, keeps the lines from rattling around, keeps the bike nice and quiet. Also has full command post internal routing on all models, whether you have a carbon or an aluminum option. And the FSR has the new concentric pivot. So similar to what you saw on the aluminum models, now is on the, the full line all the way to the S-Works carbon. So this is a new shorter seat stay matched up to the shock extension and the linkage that brings it all into the frame. It gives us a lighter rear end of the bike and a better shock actuation. So at the end of the day, your bike's gonna be easier to pick up over rocks and logs and things like that, and be smoother when your wheels smack in the bumps, give you more control. The geometry on the camber is centered around a short travel trail idea. So we have 110 millimeters of travel, which is relatively short for modern day, but we were talking to a lot of people and noticed that people wanted a, a slacker trail geometry with not a ton of travel. So it's, a, it's an interesting mix, very fast riding bike that's also capable. So you have a, a 70 degree head tube angle, nice and roomy top tube like you'd expect from a specialized bike, low bottom bracket. We wanna have low bottom bracket so it's nice and, and planted on the ground, great for handling, and then a short rear end. The short rear end gives us that snappy feeling, easy to pick up the, the front wheel and get over obstacles and still get around switchbacks. The geometry on the camber is dedicated to 29, so that roomy top tube, low bottom bracket, and short rear end really make sure that this bike handles well and just charges forward. Let's talk about some of the cool details on the camber. One of my favorite things about the camber is the lines range. You can get a, a camber for not too much money, great build, nice high-end aluminum M5 frame, all the way up to this S-Works build. You know, full carbon frame, front and rear triangle, all the bells and whistles, so very, very broad range. You can get into the camber no matter where your budget is sitting at. And there's also a couple different options in the way that the geometry is laid out. We have the standard bike like you have here, and there's also an Evo model, which just has a little bit more travel, a little bit lower bottom bracket, and a different parts build for, for getting after it on the downhills a little bit more. So cool range on the bike. And then when you start getting into it, you have nice and wide trail handlebars, so 720 millimeters wide with your, with your lock-on grips, super comfortable, not gonna go flying off your handlebars if you get into a rough situation. 110 millimeter travel forks on here, down to 15 millimeter three axles, so nice and lightweight while still being stiff. And then on your higher end models, you're gonna see these control uh, trail wheels. So these are our, our trail purpose-built wheels, a great blend of lightweight and durability. Carbon models, uh, when you see an SL moniker on, on the S-Works version, on the trail bikes, you'll see, uh, I'm sorry, on the expert bikes, you'll see the aluminum versions as well. Yeah. Moving back on the bike, we have the, the shocks mounted into the concentric pivot. The, most of the shocks are auto sag, so you can easily, uh, quickly, and correctly set up all of your, your sag right out of the gate. One of my favorite things about the, the new cambers is it comes with the ZKH2 with, with SWAT. So storage, water, air, and tools. You got your, your water, and right here is a tool built into the bottom of the water bottle cage. And this tool will drive your top cap chain tool. So if you get into a bind out there on the trail, you can go ahead and pull out your chain breaker, and there's an extra link built right into the steer tube. So super cool feature that comes on the, the more expensive bikes and can certainly be added to the bikes that don't come with it. 
This bike has XX1 on here. You can run one by, or if you want to run a front derailleur, no problem at all. The provisions are built right into the frame, direct mount style. And we have nice and low standover height that you'd expect on any specialized full suspension bike. Remember, this is here for a good fit, and also just in case you get into trouble out there on the trail and you come off the bike, moving into your command post IR, route it nice and smooth on the inside of the frame. Really slick because this is just a third of the force required to activate the lever. And if you wanted to run a, a standard command post, the, all the cambers are able to run a, a command post either through the top tube or the down tube here. So no matter which bike you have, you can run your command post on there and get right on the trail. One of my favorite features of all time is the, the clip-on chain stay protector. Nice and quiet. Uh, so when your chain's slapping around and not making a bunch of noise and being annoying, and it's also not going to scratch up your bike, but it, it clips on. It's not a, a tube or anything that's wrapped on that's going to wear out or fall off uh, on there nice and slick and clean. Camber, i got to say, is probably my most, uh, most exciting bike of the year. Super fun to ride. If you haven't ridden one yet and you're missing out, make sure you get out on the trail and, and get some on the camber.